Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Mountain Dew 401 Cup Series All-Star Race. Quick note, you see the time is moving and we are not live. That is because I recorded this race and the first clip, even though it is not corrupted, Movie Maker keeps freezing while it processes it and it keeps freezing the whole computer. So I'm just going to re-record this first clip. And, uh, I mean, I probably won't seem so enthusiastic because this is a waste of my time and I'm just doing it so that the whole race gets put up. Anyway, this is the All-Star Race 40 Laps of Racing. If one of the chase drivers wins this event, he gets five bonus points towards his chase seating. If one of the non-chasers win, they get <clears throat> ten bonus points. 10 bonus points for the season. Let's get into your starting lineup. Alexander Rowe and Colin Denton are on the front row. Michael Amato, Philip Goldberg, row 2. Jonathan Zolan, James Shelley, row 3. Seth Cole, Deanna Jones, row 4. Nate Rogers, Alex Gray, row 5. Row 6 is Philip Parker and Charles Sanford. Row 7 is Zach Flickinger and Grayson Ace Vado. Row 8, Jay Barker, Martin Suarez. Row 9, DJ Curtis, Johnny Gardner. Row 10 is Chris Stodd and showdown winner Tyler Merkel. And in row 11, second place finisher Nick Smith and third place finisher Peter Sands. So I already know who won. I'm not going to say anything about it. But um, hopefully <clears throat> I can somewhat enjoy this. Um, I might not talk too much because, like I said, I've already recorded this part. Get the heck out of my face, Kaspersky. Um, but yeah, we're getting ready to go racing here at 8 Bowl. Should be a good race. Anyway, let's go trackside for the command. The fire engines, I forget if replay even plays that. It doesn't. So the engines have been fired. So pull off a pit road. We had a pretty decent race in the showdown. Green flag is out. We're underway at the All-Star Race. Inside line will get the preferred jump here on the gun. And then we'll see what happens when they go into the right-hand section of the track. But Roe, Amato, Sorlin, and Seth Cole will clear. And we'll see if there's a move made for the lead. Yes, Amato does, and Sorlin makes it three wide already. Three wide for the race lead right on lap one. Seth Cole follows behind. Oh, excuse me, Charlie Sword. Now, Philip Goldberg will move to the inside as they're already three wide, about five rows deep. Philip Goldberg, one of the drivers that didn't make the chase. He'll make a move. 
But Denton's there. That makes it three wide again into turn three for the race lead. It's Colin Denton takes the lead. Look at Seth Cole peeking his nose in front of Goldberg to get back to that inside lane into turn one. Now Seth Cole will move to the inside of Colin Denton. Right side. Let's say whatever you want to call it. It's a super speedway, but yeah, it's like a left handers and right handers. But Seth Cole to the front as there goes Deanna Jones now to the race lead. Seth Cole, one of the non chasers in this all star race for his win back at Phoenix. And Amato will make a move for the, the lead. And Denton almost clipped the 24, but he still gets to the inside. Seth Cole back up the second. Here comes Sorlin. Charles Sanford is on the bottom. And now Seth Cole looking for the lead, and Sanford will move to Sorlin's inside. Now Denton back to the inside of Sanford. Three wide behind. Now these guys can go three wide and be safe, but once they go four wide, that's when the catastrophic happens. Now the reason that this race, um, this track wasn't used on this actual schedule is because this track can get really dangerous when you exceed um, 30 cars. And they just didn't want to risk putting 42 cars on this racetrack. So that is why they used it for the All-Star event. As you see, only 22 cars here in the All-Star race. 23 were in the showdown, though Charles Jackson's car expired before he made it to the green flag. Thirteen in the twenty-six leading. Now twenty-six is gonna go for that lead. Leading laps does nothing. Philip Goldberg with his win at Bristol makes the all-star race. He did not make the chase, though he is in prime condition or prime position to make the truck series chase. Um As he looks to try and get something out of this season. Driving Toyotas in both series. Here comes Colin Denton, your winner from Armory Digital. What an upset win that was. If it wasn't for that second pack getting in line, he never would have had a shot at that win. So we're already on lap 9 of 40. Here comes Alexander Rowe, one at Atlanta, all the way in the second race of the season. Now he'll move to the inside with Colin Denton. Rowe is one of several drivers with double-digit top 10s. Just goes to show how tough this series is. Only a couple of drivers have double-digit top 10s. Whether it's getting in wrecks or just 
not being able to stay consistent. And oh, Seth Cole almost made contact with the 10. As now here comes DJ Curtis with wins from Martinsville and New Hampshire. So Curtis more of the short track ringer, better on the tracks that are flat. He was also in good position to win Phoenix, but when, they, when his team decided to make a pit stop, a caution came out, and that got them stuck back in eighth place. So it could have been a three-win season for DJ Curtis. I'm not sure how much it would have helped him make the chase or not. Speaking of drivers with multiple wins that didn't make the chase, Chris Dodd won back-to-back -back races at Dover and Pocono and failed to make the chase. He was already at the bottom of the point standings when he did that, and he just was never really able to climb out of the top 30, bottom 30 in the points. Denton almost made it three wide, but Goldberg's move pushed him back. And now here comes James Shelley. You're in with Talladega winner, Zach Flickinger. Now Goldberg and Shelley both make the move to the inside of Alexander Rowe. Colin Denton peeking under Zach Flickinger as DJ Curtis makes it three wide. Philip Parker making his way up on the bottom. Your Daytona 500 race winner. Right now, Philip Goldberg leads the field on lap 13. And now Shelly Rowe. Rowe will make it three wide. Help from Colin Denton. Can't wait for the weekend for it to get cooler again. It's 81 where I am right now. I'm recording this on May 17th. Um, it's set to stay hot tomorrow and Friday, but Saturday to Monday is going to drop. It looks like 15 degrees. Um, humidity's not too bad, to be honest. I mean, it's hot out here, but it's not. The humidity's all right for once. Colin Denton. He'll make the move to the inside. Nick Smith, one of our showdown drivers, he's on the inside lane. Haven't really talked about our showdown win as much. Tyler Merkel gave Dodge its first win in the series, whether it was an exhibition win or not. Does not matter too much to Dodge. They're just glad they got someone in the sh in the all-star race. Merkel has had multiple shots at winning races, such as Bristol, uh, Indy, and... I forget the other race he had a shot at. Andrew Rich and Zach Rogers have had one or two chances at winning races as well. So it's not like Dodge. Dodge has just been mostly really inconsistent. If we complete lap 15, we're going to be looking at pit stops soon. And before I knew it, I got wound up in the race and I'm actually talking. Shelly, Smith, Rowe. Looks like Denton might get back to the inside of the 10. Yes, that is the case. 27 and 41 both peaked down. Tyler Merkel making his way to the front. That's your showdown winner. Don't count him out. So we'll complete lap 16. Denton will make the move on. Nick Smith. Shelly continues to hold the race lead. As Grayson Ace Fado has come down pit road. So Ace Fado, the first one to pit. Guaranteeing this will be a two-stop event. 
Now Curtis making the move on Colin Denton. Three wide, that's Nick Smith on the inside. They wound off a turn for trouble. Charles Sanfer. He saved it. Oh, Johnny Gardner gets turned into the pit wall. Nate Rogers, Chris Dodd, heavy contact. Cautions out as they pit. Several drivers stayed out. They will race back to the caution. Rowe leading Denton and Merkel. Yellow flag is out. See all the smoke here on the straightaway. Alexander Rosier, leader at the yellow. Denton, him, Merkel, and Jones stayed out. Sorlin. Ace Veda will be trapped one lap down, and it's unknown what will happen to the rest of these guys that just pit. But with that said, let's take a look. Yeah, what brought out the first caution of the night. And things just got all complicated right here. Some people trying to pit, some not. Sanford comes up in the gray. That sends him around. Johnny Gardner went way down to avoid this. Now watch. Sanford's going to keep it going. But apparently Gardner did not want to pit. He was avoiding the wreck. Nate Rogers wanted to pit and... Gardner's going to get turned, and the back end is going to clip the wall. That sends Nate Rogers up into the air into Chris Dodd. Lucky it was only the back end for Johnny Gardner, but a massive hit. That car is definitely done. Back end's demolished. Nate Rogers, Chris Dodd. Maybe got a little lucky. Nope, Nate Rogers is smoking. He's done. But that's what brought out the caution here. Let's get to the race restart. Getting ready to go back green. Um, Johnny Gardner, Nate Rogers are out. Ace Fado and Suarez are one down. Peter Sands and Jay Barker are on the tail. We're going to have a double five restart. And this could be interesting because bottom line's preferred. Um, probably won't see another yellow. These guys should be able to go all the way. If not, they're going to be pitting with three laps left. Um, but your top ten rundown, James Shelley is currently in the lead. That would be five bonus points for him in the chase. DJ Curtis second. Alexander Rowe third. Tyler Merkel is fourth. Colin Denton fifth. Deanna Jones sixth. Charles Sanford seventh. Nick Smith eighth. Zach Flickinger ninth. And Michael Amato is tenth. So we'll see what exactly happens. We're going to pay attention to James Shelley on this restart. 18 laps remain. As they come down the front straightaway, pace car is going to duck out. And we are green. Once again. And DJ Curtis will be the one to jump to the bottom on James Shelley. We know some of these guys do have damage, such as Jay Barker and Martin Swartz, that will affect them a little bit. Curtis is going to follow four teammate Peter Sands. He's actually looking to maybe put him three wide, but he doesn't. Here comes Tyler Merkel under Alexander Rowe. Now, these slow cars are definitely going to cause a ruckus. See, Chris Dodd is off pace. So slow cars could be trouble here at the end of this race because of the speeds they are going. Tyler Merkel's looking to pass Curtis. Now remember, this is for the lead. Sands and Ace Fado will be a lap down if they get past. Ace Fado had pulled away a bit. Now Sands is catching up. And Tyler Merkel and Rowe will go low on the 12. That'll push him back into the field. 
Nick Smith is up here. So two of our showdown guys in contention. Peter Sands sadly stuck a lap down. And there they go. And whoa, bro. He uses his teammate, gets in front of him, and passes Tyler Merkel. Now that'll put Ace Vader a lap down too. There you see Chris Dodd is about six seconds off pace. You can see he just went into turns one and two. Now watch, he'll be in one and two. Okay, he's coming off at two right now. They are in three and four already. They will definitely catch up to him. You see 9.9 .9 seconds last time by. Probably going to be 16 next time by. Ace Vado, Sand Suarez, Barker, all one lap down. Single filed up. Rowe, Smith, Merkel, Denton, Jones for Ace Vado. Ace Vado will lap down. Suarez is slowly falling off the draft. You see, he just can't hit 227 like these other guys. Jay Barker has already lost the pack. You see his speed is declining rapidly. And there you can see 224 to 222 that Suarez will lose this pack. Three tenths off. But Rowe continues the lead. So Ace Fado and Sands are up to speed. But Sands may not even be up to speed either. I didn't know he got damaged. It doesn't look like he did, but... It looks like he might have. So Suarez and Sands could end up drafting together here. It looks like they're going to lose the pack. But two by, two wide. Tyler Markle taking the lead from Rowe. Now here comes Deanna Jones. 13 laps to go. Jonathan Zorlin, Alexander Rowe on the bottom in one and two. Jones goes up high. She'll cut back down low. In front of Tyler Markle. Trying to get five bonus points for the chase. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yawn. Jones still leads. Smith second. Seth Cole up to third. Oh, yeah. They're catching Dodd. Now Nick Smith will look for the lead. Seth Cole going to jump right behind him. There he is. Off turn four. Oh, they'll get him in a lap or two. So they're going to get Dodd at least once. And that could split up the pack, depending where they catch him. Seth Cole, Nick Smith battling side by side. Colin Denton on the bottom with Cole. And they will definitely catch him at the line next time by. They will get a little bit of draft off of him. So that will help the leader in not getting passed. There he is. Here they come. Seth Cole getting that draft off the 88. Will they catch him in the middle of the corner or off the corner? Oh, they're going to catch him right here in the corner. And Seth Cole has nowhere to go. He goes to the right. He'll get by easy. Denton and everybody else had to slam on them brakes. So Seth Cole will pull away, but once they catch up, they're going to draft right by him. You see Chris Dodd is holding up. Now Rowe's going to pass on the high side. Wouldn't have been surprised if Dodd had gotten turned for getting in the way. The 
This is definitely going to split up the field. They've already caught back up to Seth Cole. You see Jay Barker may also be caught. He is four seconds off pace. He just hit the start finish line. I think they'll catch him. Nine to eight to go when they hit the line next time by. Seth Cole, Colin Denton, one, two. There comes Goldberg. Sanford's going to put it in the middle, three wide. You can just see how stretched out this pack is now. Guys like Merkel, Amato, Curtis, and Sorlin, their chances are done. Seth Cole still in the lead as Goldberg and Shelley working together yet again. Look at Sanford's crossover on Denton as Goldberg and Shelley will make the pass on Seth Cole. So these two have been working together a lot today as I just conked my elbow. And here comes Sanford. What a run off the corner he had. He'll move up the second. Seven to go at the line. Here comes Seth Cole back at it again. Alexander Rowe with him. And Martin Suarez has lost, but he is not as slow as Barker or uh, Dodd. There's Jay Barker. These guys will probably catch him within the last few laps. Six laps remain. And there goes Alexander Rowe looking low on Goldberg. Nick Smith, his teammate, going to drop in line. Seth Cole and the rest behind him will have nowhere to go. As this has become a... 11 car race from the previous 15 car race. Merkel, Amato, Sorlin, and Curtis all losing the pack. Five to go for Alexander Rowe. They're going to catch Jay Barker. So Barker, another lap car, will come into play. Not sure that they will catch Chris Dodd. Dodd has fallen through 19th place. Rowe in the lead. Seth Cole second. Here comes another Chevy. Another Chevy. That's one, two, three, four. Chevy. They're trying to win the all side. I know they got the best odds up front. There's just one Ford and Colin Denton. And two Toyotas. The rest are Chevy, so they got the best chance to win here. Trying to pull away a bit. Trying to keep that Toyota back there. Jay Barker, the only other Ford of the event, besides Johnny Gardner. And now Goldberg makes it three wide to pass Sanford and Shelley. Here comes Deanna Jones, the other Toyota. Sanford tries to pull back down. He can't. And if they wrecked at this point, it would end the race. And Goldberg's pitting. None of them can make it. Three to go. Goldberg had to pit. Seth Cole, row one, two. Chevy, three, four, five. Looking at six with Sack Flickinger. As they catch Jay Barker. And he's catching Grayson Ace Vado, who pit. Who pits this time by? Oh, man, they got nowhere to go. Seth Cole and Rowe both go high. Oh! They almost wrecked. Barker's going to pit. Nick Smith pits Seth Cole. Oh, man. <laughs> Shit. And caution's out. They're racing back. This is it. This is Alexander Rowe, Charles Sanford, Sack Flickinger. It's going to be one of the three. Flickinger's going to go low. Oh, Rose anticipating Peter Sands. 
Flickinger's still low. He's getting Sands draft. This is going to get close. Sands holds up Flickinger and Rowe wins the All-Star race. Oh, and they make contact. These guys might be running out of gas. We're going to see the checkered flag, but um <laughs> that was bad. Decent finish, but that was really bad. Um Seth Cole apparently wanted the pit and he made the move way too late. <laughs> After contact with Alexander Rowe. Oh my god. But Alexander Rowe will get five bonus points. Unless he runs out of gas. Nope. That's it. Flickinger and Sanford, they're going to pit. <laughs> they're not going to give up any spots, but... S oh, man, the, <laughs> the stupid pace car! <laughs> As Alex and the row. Oh, this race was... Oh, my God. And the pace car... He done goof, too. Um, well, yeah, see, Seth Cole is trying to pit, and, um, Jesus. Oh, man, that's awful. That was awful, man. Oh, man. Um, Alexander Rowe is your winner. Oh, man, that's crazy. Well, guys, I'll see you next weekend at Chicagoland for the Truck Trekler season finale and the first chase race off the Cup Series. So I will see you all then.